Welcome to the first Let's Play of Cat's Tales. <laughs> the amount of work that it got us to get to this exact point it was a lot. Please ignore the fact that I'm trying to. Oh my god, anyway. I've broken two plastic forts today. Yep. And uh, here we are. So, I've never played this before. I'm gonna move my blue. Blue Yeti up here so you guys can actually hear me. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I have on my cat ear headphones. See? Appropriate. Perfect. On brand. <laughs> Nick's here. Yay. You just had to help me with the audio problem. So now we're going to talk to Coco. I already went through and did all the preliminary stuff. Hmm, you say your name is Jack. No. They didn't have a black cat. Figure that one out. They'd have a gray cat, but his name is Jack. Like our cat. That's a good name for you, if you don't mind me saying. You were saying, you say, you were left here by all by yourself, dropped off on the side of the road. <clears throat> like Jack. <laughs> How terrible. Well, if that's your story, you've got a lot of learning ahead of you. You all have to fend for yourself out here in the wild. If you don't know how to forge, hunt, and fight, you can't expect to live more than a few days. You better listen closely to <coughs> everything I say. Sorry, you guys. My, ugh. I think I might move my camera up here because I feel like there's a lot of dialogue right now. I can show you how to survive around these parts. First things first, you'll need to know how to forage. There should be some golden seal around here. It's a green leafy plant with bright red berries. We can use it to patch up wounds. Why don't you find some golden seal and bring it to me? Shouldn't be hard to locate. Let me know if you need some help. Go and gather. We're on a mission! For this over here. Do you, how, do you, how do you pick... Everything's E, guys. Everything. This music is very loud. Hang on, let me turn it down for you guys. I apologize immensely. That might be too low. Hang on. I want you to enjoy it, but just enough. <laughs> I guess... Ooh, we're in trouble. Coco's mad now. Coco's mad. I think I was only... I thought I had to give from more than one plant. Hello. I thought... But I guess you don't have to do it. Because I tried to go farther up, and he's like, Where are you going? Hmm. I'm my own boss, Coco. Obviously not, because I had to come back. <laughs> Looks like you found the golden seal. Why don't you try giving it to me? Oh, that sounds like you just wanted some golden seal. Golden. You're running a racket. <laughs> You'll have to dig it up from your inventory and hold it in your mouth first. Okay. How do you get into your inventory? Oh, it tells you. You hit Z. Select the golden seal, then hold it. Is that all I had to do? I, okay, I'm holding it. Now what? Great work. You'll be foraging like a pro soon enough. You go ahead and keep that golden seal, by the way. Never know when it may come in handy. I'll leave it in your inventory. There's a lot of plants that grow when <clears throat> in the wild. Golden seal, lavender, catnip. <laughs> And marigold, to name a few. They all have their unique uses, so make sure to gather some up and try them out to see if you see them. I'm okay. Just remember that all plants need time to grow after they've been harvested, and some plants will only grow in certain seasons. Oh, God. You're also going to need to know how to find food for yourself. You'll need to eat regularly to stay healthy and alive. That's not good. Because I am not good at that. Nick knows. When I play Minecraft, I've been known to try to eat sand. No, I'm kidding. Eat sand. Or you eat the dead <laughs> mummy skin. And you get the the rotten flesh. The zombie, yeah, the rotten flesh. Can you eat some plants like berries and licorice? <clears throat> you can, not can you. He's not demanding <laughs> I that I eat plants. 
<laughs> but they don't fill you up very fast. Do it now. You'll mainly want to eat prey that you catch with your own full paws. That's the good stuff. <laughs> Don't suppose you know how to hunt, do you? Well, you get on your phone and you get on Postmates. <laughs> and you funny. say, <laughs> you say, I need a mouse. And then the Postmates people say, Okay. I'll show you the way. Why don't you sneak around and find a mouse? They make for a tasty snack. All right. First, sneak around so they don't hear you coming. Then, find a mouse and get close so you can focus on it. You'll want to get as close as possible without scaring them off. The closer you get, the better chance you have of catching the mouse. Don't worry, mice aren't very fun. Very good. Very fun. <laughs> very good at spotting us cats. You can get pretty close. And then pounce on the mouse once you focus. Once you're focused and ready. If you did it right, you'll have a nice meal waiting for you in the grass. Ugh. Don't worry if you miss your first few tries. Hunting is tricky and you won't always catch your prey. Just keep moving and trying. Oh, Jesus. This is like fishing in Stardew Valley because we're going to starve. I bet it is. <laughs> We're, gonna starve. We're all gonna starve, guys. Be prepared for next episode where I die. You know. <laughs> you got all that. If you need to hear it again, just talk to me. I'll repeat myself for you. Good luck and happy hunting. Wonderful. To sneak, hold shift and locate a mouse. Okay, so wait a minute. I have to hit. Do I shift and? Sn oh, sneaking. You go really slow. I scared it, but how do you... This is what I don't get. This is what I don't understand. The mice are running away from me. What do you do when you see the mouse? Is what I want to know. Focus mode and then you pounce on it. It said low focus and then the mouse came over and it ran away from me. Gotta sneak up on it. I'm sneaking. Sneak up on it. Every Look at how slow I'm moving. Stealthy like a lion. <laughs> <laughs> this game is funny. I see one. I see it, guys. Ah! What the f... I figured it out. Okay, so. We're making imp... I like how it tells you right here what the... It tells you. Oh, yeah. The instructions. That's good. It's not like Gravekeeper where you're like... I don't know. You're there for like two hours trying to figure it out. You have to focus. And the way you focus is there's that little... Ooh, there's two over here. I got it! Got I it? killed a mouse, everyone. Yay. Bring the mouse back to Coco. <laughs> Why is it his name like that? To Coco. I would bring the mouse back to Coco. <laughs> you would like this game. This is see. This is my kind of game, guys. You're a natural hunter, Jack. We always knew that about Jack. But you'll need a whole lot more than just one measly mouse to keep yourself well fed and in top shape. Don't let it get to your head. Oh, well, you're the one that called me a good hunter, sir. You can find all sorts of praise. All sorts of prey to hunt all throughout the wilderness. Most you will see you coming from... I'm a really bad read-out-loud person from a lot farther... <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with my throat either. Let me get you more water? <clears throat> it's the beans. Mm -hmm. From a lot farther away than the, a mouse will. So you'll have to stay alert and keep learning. Right. You can always get better by... At hunting by spending experience on your passive hunting skills in your skills panel. All this hard work is probably making you hungry. Why don't you try eating the mouse you just caught? I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> you'll need in order to, you'll need to eat in order to survive in cattails. You can see how hungry your cat is in the bottom left corner of the screen. If your hunger is reduced to one percent, you'll start taking damage from starvation. It looks like you're a little hungry right, <clears throat> hungry right now. 
Go ahead and eat the mouse you just caught by opening your inventory, selecting the mouse, and then selecting eat from the list of options. Okay, that's easy. Inventory. How do I get to the inventory? That's easy. Oh, right here. Alright. If you haven't heard this music, well, you guys are hearing it. You haven't heard it. It's pretty snappy. Okay. Everybody's like, click out. This is not Terraria. <laughs> this is the, she's lost her fucking mind. This is not Terraria. Her freak her mind. Fudge mind. Fudge mind. I'll have to put it. Fragalaga. Her Fragalaga mind. I did not read any of that to you guys. I apologize. <laughs> I'm about to teach you a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. <laughs> Running. That's my skill. <laughs> Let me teach you how to do it. <laughs> Let me teach you. You can use it to gain a burst of speed. It's called Running. You can use sprint to cover ground quickly to run away from a fight that's too big for you. All right. Or to catch up with prey that's escaping. You've learned the sprint skill. It's just been added to your active skill bar at the bottom left corner of the screen. You can use it by either clicking the sprint icon or by pressing one on your keyboard. All right. Check it out. Try it out now. Oh my God, I'm speedy like, like lightning. Basically, what this part of the text is saying is you can only use it every so often, so don't use it too much. Normally, you'll gain experience to learn new skills, and you can only equip new skills while inside your den. You'll gain experience by hunting, fishing, foraging, and even by sleeping. There's a lot of skills available, such as combat, travel, support, and more. You can have any four active skills at a time, so you'll want to experiment with different combos to find out what's best for you. You can also use experience to upgrade your passive skills, which are hunting, fighting, foraging, and swimming, which cats do not like. You can manage skills in the skill panel. Remember, active skills can be upgraded from anywhere at any time, but active skills can only be equipped or unequipped at your den. You can also spend experience to upgrade active skills that you really like. Usually that means they'll come they'll become more powerful and you'll be able to use them more frequently. You should also know something else about the wilderness. The cats that live here don't like intruders very much. Any cat found trespassing on another cat's territory can be attacked on sight. It's our way of life. Oh. Huh. That's why you need to know how to fight. Most cats join a colony that provides guards and a base of operation for protection. Often those colonies clash. Border skirmishes or even all-out wars are not uncommon. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need to know what I'm working with here. How about the two of us spar really quick? Fair warning, I won't go easy on you just because you're new. Come over here and let me, and let me know when you're ready. I don't want to do this. I have to a dollar for every time. I don't want to do this, people. Just want to make that abundantly clear. I don't want to fight cats like this is. You ready to spar with me? All right. All right, a few pointers before we begin. <clears throat> cats fight by pawing at each other with their claws. It takes some time to complete an attack. During that time, you won't be able to react to my attacks. So time your attacks just right. Oh, God. You want to make sure your agility to escape my attacks. You want to make sure to use your agility. Okay. Anticipate my swipes and get out of the way before they hit. Remember, I'll be vulnerable while attacking because I won't be able to turn around or move. Same goes for you. Well, how do you attack? Oh, my God. 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 Oh, it's space. Space bar. Space bar. Space bar. Space bar. You put up a good fine, but you're not bad for a beginner, basically. Okay. 
Okay. Fighting can be an excellent way to flex your political muscle. Every day, a few battles will begin along the borders of the colonies. If you participate, you could help the colony gain influence over the, an area. Speaking of colony, colonies, surely you'll want to join one. It's a great way to get started in the wild. I know all of the three major colonies here have a spare den to give you if you'd like. This is the first major choice we're making, guys. Be excited. I don't know why I'm forcing you, but that's okay. We're actually not far from the forest den. I can lead you there and help you get settled in. What if I don't want to be the forest? I'm sure the leader there, Mayor, wouldn't mind a new face around town. There are good cats at the forest colony. <clears throat> You'll fit right in. How does that sound? What are my other options? Well, like I said, there's three major colonies that live out here. I'll tell you about all of them, then you can make your choice. Okay, there's the forest colony, which I mentioned. They're good, friendly cats that live in a bramble patch deep in the oak woods just to the north. They're definitely the closest colony to here. Then their, and their leader and mayor would, <coughs> would be happy to take you in. There's also the... <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> God, there's also the Mountain Domain, a proud colony of cats dwelling near a waterfall and on a rocky basin. They're way up north. They're led by a fighter named Leo. Cats always looking for more paws to bolster the number of border skimmers. Skirmishers, not skimmers, <laughs> in the domain. And lastly, there's Mystic Colony. Strange cats that live in the hollow logs deep within the... It sounds like the forest one's probably the best. You may find their leader quit hard to connect with that first, but Alyssa's a good cat at heart. They all are, even the wacky ones, like Nick. No. So what do you think? I think I'm going to go with the forest one. The forest one sounds good, yeah. Great. I'll lead you to the forest colony. Oh, I got... Guys... I got an achievement. Are we all proud of me? I have to follow this guy now. Let's go. Oh. Here we are. This is your den, Jack. You went to visit your den often. You Here you can sleep and save your progress. You can also use the space to store items if you'd like. Remember to save your progress frequently as you play by using your bed. It's a good idea to save before sleeping each night. This is where we'll have to part ways, Jack. I hope you remember your training well. It was good to meet you. You'll have a busy day. Why don't you get some sleep? I'll return to check up on you soon. Until then. And he vanishes into the abyss. Where's my bed? Oh, I should have saved first, didn't he say that? Okay. Yeah. Oh, well. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay in place. Oh, more. Let's save now. Let's save. I want to save my game. Game saved. Perfect. You get it? Okay. Everybody got it. There's a cat. Good morning. I heard from... Oh, this is the guy that's like, you know... Oh, like me? No, no, no. He's the, um... General? General. Mayor. Mayor. <laughs> General, mayor, governor. It's all the same thing. I heard from Coco we'd be seeing a new face today. My name's Mayor, the leader of the Forest Colony. I'm here to give you a warm welcome. I hope you find your den comfortably enough. We are keeping it nice and tidy in case someone like you came along. You'll find that there were a pretty friendly bunch of cats around here. You'll want to go around and introduce yourself to any everyone when you get the chance. Make sure you get to know Ember, our shopkeeper. You should also say hello to Doc, our healer. I just live behind your den on a little island in the middle of town. Come see me if you get lonely. Oh, we're also preparing for a f summer festival. This is a lot like Stardew Valley. Yeah, it is a lot like. Hope you'll join us for the festivities. Cats of every colony come together to the sacred temple at the end of each season for the festivals. They're usually fun games and prizes you can win. Yep, 
It's like Stardew Valley. With, with the summer festivals can. The summer festival takes place on the tenth of summer. Anyway, I'll be taking off now. Welcome to our forest colony, Jack. Oh, I gotta talk to this guy. It says, My name's Doc. I look after the sick and wounded cats around these parts. I've got herbs, medicines, and remedies for just about every kind of ailment you can think of. If you're ever feeling icky inside or out, you come and find me. I've got whatever you need to get you back to tip-top shape. I'll be seeing you around, I'm sure. Pleasure to meet you. Okay, fine. Bye. Shit. Nobody wants to talk for very long. Okay, he was not friendly. I'm going to talk to you now. Who are you and what do you want from me? It's just like Stardew Valley. Look, you don't know me, and I don't know you, so let's get one thing straight. <laughs> I'm Missy, and I'm the most important cat in the forest. Got it? <laughs> now leave me be, you're wasting my time. Okay, Haley. Oh, That's yeah. Haley. That's Haley, if you don't get the reference. <clears throat> It's a butterfly. I thought it was a bird. <laughs> Y'all watch me make a moron of myself. This is the one that runs the store. Oh my gosh. Probably gonna have to end it soon because. My child has a loose tooth, if anybody cares. <laughs> All right, but we have, I feel like we've done a good job t <clears throat> today. We have introduced ourselves to mostly all the cats. I don't know how you get, is there a way to like get out of this area? Oh, it's right here. We've introduced ourselves to most of the other cat. Oh my God, that scared the crap out of me. What, what <laughs> it was it? a fight. I go out and watch, 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 watch. I'm gonna do this again very quickly for Nick. What is happening? You oh, see them all shit. fighting? So, I think we've done enough for today for this video. If you guys like these videos, please make sure you like, comment, all that good stuff so that we know. I mean, I'm going to play it anyway. Probably once a week. Yeah, on Mondays. On Mondays. Monday. It's going to be Meow Meow Monday. <laughs> meow Meow Monday. Anyway, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not done so already, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. This is not your video.